Hello and welcome friends, Frenzy here, bringing you Kerbal Space Program Mod Overview once again, and today we're looking at Bobcat's Soviet Engine Pack. That's right, you can see here in front of you, we're taking a look at some of these engines because they are probably some of the best looking engines that I've seen uh, in terms of modeling and textures. They're just really detailed, they're really intricate. Um, they look pretty realistic too, if you go and look at some of the Russian engines, uh, but more so they just... They just, they just look cool, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cycle through some of these engines just to give you kind of a feel for them. Um, you know, they're pretty powerful, uh, but you know, kind of in line with realism, I would say that you know they're not the most powerful engines you'll find in terms of just pure raw power, you know, thrust, and that's pretty realistic. If you look at some of the you know real life Russian engines, particularly during the space race. Um, you know, they weren't the most overpowered engines, you know, the Americans had way more powerful engines, um, you know, just looking at the F1 engines that were used on the Saturn V rocket as an example of that, but one thing the Russians did way better than the Americans during the space race was their engines were so efficient, and they built them so efficiently that they're still even used today, um, pretty commonly on rockets that get launched in America, so these engines are powerful, and they're also more so than being powerful, they're efficient. Um, and that, I think, is true in KSP, too. I think you'll see that pretty pretty well a little bit later when we kind of launch one, or launch a, a vehicle with, you know, some of these engines. That they're, they're pretty pretty darn efficient, which is really nice. So not the most powerful, but certainly the most efficient um, that I've seen, or some of the most efficient that I've seen that you can get for kind of traditional chemical rockets, you know, not nuclear or any, nuclear engines or anything like that. Uh, so, pretty cool. Uh, we're just kind of firing through here. You can kind of get a feel for, you know, what they're, what they look like when they fire, and they look pretty cool too. Um, they have some really nice, you know, some smoke effects you'll see in a little bit here. <laughs> it's a very powerful engine there. Um, you know, I kind of have to back up here because of the uh, all the smoke, and I, I can't remember if that's a real plumes mod I have or not, but I, I think that's just kind of standard. Uh, it's very cool, looks very cool, and um, as you can see here, we're just about through here. So they look beautiful, they they run beautifully. Um, basically what I did is I kind of put together a just kind of a quick mission and this was my first launch and I have to say it surprised me how efficient they were. Uh, it was mind-blowing. I did not expect to get as far as I did with this core stage. I was really just kind of hoping to go up um, and get into orbit really a little bit. That was kind of what I was planning to do with this mission but as you'll see as we progress here it went a lot farther than that. Um, one of the cool things is these some of these engines have really nice gimbling as you can see the, uh, the nozzles there, you know, moving as I'm kind of pitching over and that's nice too because one of the things sometimes with FAR is if you don't have a gimbaled engine on that core stage, you know, with some really nice gimbal, it can be hard to control. Uh, you will lose control pretty easily, but um, I almost lost control at a moment for a moment if you kind of saw there, but I managed to hold it together <laughs> thanks in part to these engines. You know, they gimbal well as well, which is, for my money, one of the most, you know, most underrated parts of an engine is, you know, can it, you know, gimbal, does it have the gimbling to compensate, you know, for, um, you know, doing a pitch program, as I'm doing here. So we're, we're moving along pretty quickly here, <laughs> and again, these engines, they're powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, and we're just kind of moving along, scooting along here, and we have hit Horbit. And if you notice, uh, I still have that core stage, and I still have some fuel in that core stage. So I thought, why not go to the moon? See how how far these two engines will actually take me. Uh, so you see here, I ditched this, and it kind of comes apart. And I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see if I can land on the moon. Uh, which, as it turns out, I could. Um, and I probably, honestly, I probably could. I cut it off a little bit at the end here, but I probably could have made it back to Kerbin. Uh, I basically bounced around it. Um, this was not my first attempt uh, at actually putting it down, so I bounced around a lot, so I lost quite a bit of fuel doing that, but I probably could have got it back to Kerbin, which is pretty cool. Well, hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, uh, and I will see you guys next time.